Stalkers! Hello, Interwebs, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2. My name is Kitty Mini. And I'm Pharaoh. <laughs> I thought we were going a more sultry voice today. I mean, we can. Mm. Mm. It's very odd. How's now. everybody <laughs> doing today? Is everybody okay? Can I freshen up a drink for you? Maybe perhaps a <laughs> little back rub in the back room. Completely, you know, it's, it's nothing sexual, although my voice may imply something entirely different. I'm not a whore. God. I keep forgetting it's your channel. I guess uh, I guess I was okay, but we probably shouldn't push it any more than that. <laughs> <laughs> what were we doing again? We're gonna go check the garbage pickup area that Gumshoe said to do. Okay. Gummy said John headed towards the car the garbage pickup area. Come on. <clears throat> Indeed. There might be some traces of them left behind. Oh no, John's milk! <laughs> he needs some milk! Oh, he needs some milk! <sighs> this milk carton is... It's the one John was drinking out of. There's no mistake. Something must have happened to John here. Okay, garbage... Garbage pick up. What about the lock? Of the lock? Yeah. Looks like the garbage pickup area is locked. It's probably to prevent people outside the Grand Tower from disposing of the trash here. Okay, uh. Garbage pickup at 11 sign. The garbage pickup time is at 11 a.m., so that's why there's no trash. When I left here earlier, the place was overflowing with garbage, sir! I mean, yeah. that's not overflowing, but okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, it was kind of filled, but... Mm. Looks like today is the day when the when bulk, uh, when bulk waste is collected during the garbage pickup. There really was a lot of bulky items placed here, pal. The garbage truck's comp uh, compactor can crush any kind of garbage to dust. No, it seems in the case of bulk waste, it's transported as is without being crushed. Huh? Why do you know about how bulk waste is disposed of, Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, maybe Mr. Shields in order to accomplish his, mis his Mr. Edgeworth acquisition plan. Sends him something like a moving process instructional brochure. There are times when you're so sharp and scary. Although there are few and far between. <laughs> Combined with Detective Gumshoe's testimony, the chances are high that John was attacked at the garbage pickup area. If it was here, there wouldn't be any witnesses. But why would John have come to a place like this? It would be natural to think that he came here to throw something away. We have no way of knowing since the garbage truck has already collected everything. Okay, uh, I guess logic? Let's see what we got. Okay, cars came through, sound of explosion, Oh, okay, um... Huh. I know we can collect two of these already. So the event at the Coliseum and the sound of an explosion. I think that's what that was. They were boom boom. I forgot. I was, I was going with the hell. I forgot. I don't know where the hell was going with that actually. Oh, dogs apparently call Fourth of July scary, scary, boom boom, nice. <laughs> uh, oh god. I think I got that one from Facebook. It's like okay, I'll take that. <clears throat> mm. Uh, go ahead and speak with Edgeworth there, please. Mr. Keys, didn't you say that there were fireworks at the Coliseum earlier? Huh? What about them? Were those fireworks set off during the day? I just realized we zoomed past from the garbage pickup to here. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Even just while we were there, a bunch of them were set off. What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? That explosion sound we heard at the end of the kidnapper's phone call could very well have been the fireworks. Ah! Oh, come are they gonna do oh this again? God. Can I fast forward it? Uh, no. I guess not. 
You can bring me justice, so I highly doubt that. Boom. Boom. That's you. Oh, you were doing it earlier. Oh, because it's Ed, because he's still talking to uh, Simon. Okay. I mean, you were just doing it two seconds ago. That's why I was like, oh. I was. Yeah. Uh, oh, fine. I'm sorry. I'll just. I'll. No, I can do it. Oh. It's just fine. I was like, oh, you can do it. Okay. For the sound to have been picked up by the phone, it must have been fairly loud. So that means the culprit was near the Coliseum. Ding. Even so, I bet the fireworks could be heard in lots of places around the Coliseum. Now, uh, okay. Indeed. It would be impossible for us to search the entire area up, uh, by ourselves. If only we could have the police lend us a hand. Um... What else do we got? Set of fire racing means the kidnapper was near the Coliseum. Garbage pickup area. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The cars that came through. I wonder if that in the garbage pickup area. Because that was a lot of crap behind in that truck. Right. I said only a taxi and a blue truck came through the plaza. So. Hmm. So where was the garbage truck? The only vehicles that came through the plaza this morning were a taxi and a blue truck. And Mr. DeBest was kidnapped in that taxi. Yes. Meanwhile, John was attacked in the garbage pickup area. And the garbage was collected from there at 11 a.m. Oh, 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 I've got it, sir. The blue truck was actually... That's right. The blue truck that came through the plaza was a garbage truck. However, be that as it may, the officer who gave us this information made no mention that the blue truck was a garbage truck. Talk about careless. How could someone mistake a garbage truck for a normal truck? That's not it, Kay. Today was a day for the collection of bulk waste. I suspect it was a standard truck without a trash compactor that came by to collect the trash. John was taken away by this garbage truck. And where do garbage trucks go? And a dump, of course. Hold up. The culprit was disguised as a garbage collector? Uh, the culprit was disguised as a garbage collector, right? Then the truck was probably fake, too. How do we know they really went to the dump? No. The garbage truck should have been real. Uh, why is that? That will be made clear if you simply take a look at the garbage pickup area. This shows the garbage truck John was kidnapped in was real. Uh. This shows the garbage truck John. Um. It, it's one of those things where it's like, aha, it makes sense, but you also wouldn't. I don't think you would think of it right off the bat. Wait, what time was he kidnapped? Not entirely sure. Okay, so if we're not sure about that. I want to say the lock, then, if it's not the sign. Okay. The lock! Because reasons you'll explain in a second. <laughs> the garbage area- the garbage pickup area is locked. Ah, oh yeah. <laughs> Only a real garbage collector could have unlocked it to unlock collect the trap. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, it- like, it's like, oh, duh, but at the same time, oh. Oh. Precisely. We should assume that a genuine garbage truck was used. For example, the kidnapper could have put John into a large cardboard box. The box mixed up with the rest of the bulk waste. The garbage collector would have carried John away without even knowing it. Exactly. The culprit would then lie and wait the garbage dump. And if they said, I threw it away by mistake, and the box will be returned to them. Hmm, any garbage dumps nearby? So Let's see. Ah! There's two of them! So why, though? I mean, unless it's a huge city, but... Okay. So, which garbage dump was he taken to? Could there be a hint in any of the information I hold? I mean, we gotta look at the... Oh! Oh! 
Sorry, I drink some water. Mm. Um, I want to say which dump is near the Colosseum. Okay. We need to go find the map. Hold on. I'm going to collect those two. So you're connecting them now? Yes. <clears throat> Based on the explosion sound we heard from the kid ah. up his phone, are you alright? Uh, yeah. Okay. Just pain oh. in my stomach. Oh. Okay, good to know. We know that John. Hmm? Good. Oh, good, good. We know that John is being confined someplace in the vicinity of, of the Coliseum. One of the garbage dumps is right next to the Coliseum. <laughs> Dump. <laughs> John has almost certainly taken that. How old am I? In 27. Good job. It's still too old. It's still too old to make stupid jokes like that, but still. Uh. In which case, the place he is being confined to must also be somewhere close by. Detective Gumshoe. Yes, sir! Can I ask you to search the. Uh, 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 oh, excuse me. What the hell happened to my oh, voice? God, what happened? I don't know. My, you okay? my voice is like, hey, stop for a minute. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how your professional voice actors do it. <laughs> oh. Uh, we usually like, ahem. <clears throat> Could I ask you to? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how the sessions go? Oh. Sorry, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you to search the area around this garbage dump? You don't want to ask me like we're strangers, sir. It feels so distant. <laughs> Please just order me around like you use normally do. Are you sure, Detective? Right now, I'm not a prosecutor. Didn't I tell you, sir? Detectives don't just investigate for the sake of prosecutors. <laughs> you have my thanks, Detective. We did it. Yes! Mr. Edgeworth, look! It's almost time! Yes, it would be best if we hurry. This should be... They should also be at their limit. Detective Gumshoe, I'm counting on you. Leave it to me, sir. This may be an unofficial investigation, but I'll call you and I'll, in all, I'll, I'll call in all my pals from the station to help. I'll help too. Stealing John back is my job, after all. I will re return into the courtroom. I might be able to draw out some more time. Okay. Well then, even in the depths of night. Mm. The clock just struck two. We have to hurry. Yes, sir. Wait, where's he going? Oh, never mind. I thought the court was right above. Oh, me too. I'm like, where's he going? <laughs> I'm the introduction. We know why the bird dares to take flight. Gumshoe, away. Aw. Well, we know it took them 15 minutes to get there, or 16 minutes. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, huh. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, oh. Blaze is there? I guess so. <sighs> Excuse me. Um. Dun, dun, well, well, dun, dun. well. If it isn't my form, if it isn't former prosecutor Edgeworth. Uh, do you mind taking over for just a second? Sure. Blaze the best. Witness face forward. We are not done talking yet. Like I said, you see. Why exactly would I have needed to help that person out, your honor? You know, it's a crying shame. Wait, why does he still have the wig? I thought it burned. He can have another one. No, he can't. He finds his whole stockpile. <sighs> Having a beautiful woman declared guilty. Honestly, it brings tears to my eyes. Oh, shut up. You just wanted booty. I mean... Keep my mouth shut. But you see, there's a, there's no reason for me to go go out of my way to hide evidence just to save her. Yeah. Sorry. However, we still have the testimony of your son, Prosecutor De De Best. He testified that he handed the evidence over to you. Hmm. Well, I haven't the slightest clue what he was talking about. 
I simply can't imagine why Sebastian would have said something like that, you know? Objection! Oh, what if there is evidence that shows your connection with Ward and Roland? Mm -hmm. And just what do you think you're doing, former Prosecutor Edgeworth? I was under the impression that you were no longer in any position to stand in court. Miles Edgeworth, how dare you barge into my prosecutor's bench? Fra that's you, sorry. Fra <laughs> uh, Francisca, I'm sorry. I need you to lend me the bench for a little while. Wh what are you saying? Judge Courtney, I've brought vital evidence related to this case. Your Honor, please allow me to testify. <laughs> oh, she'd never allow it. Objection. Courtney Pie, Uncle Ray also asked that he be allowed to testify. There are no, there are no objections for prosecution either, right? Understood. The prosecution also has no objection. Objection! There's no way you can allow something like this, you know. Such high-handed methods. Surely are enough to warrant being held in contempt of court. Wouldn't you say, Courtney? As long as John is still in danger, Judge Courtney cannot rule against the warden. I must convey to her somehow that the search for her son is progressing. Uh, Judge Courtney, I ask that you have faith in me and my assistant. Now that you mention it, where exactly is she? She is currently out searching for the most important piece of evidence. Wink, wink. It's a waste of time. There's no such evidence. Are you stalling for time? How disgraceful. Objection. Most important piece of evidence, huh? Courtney Pie. I don't really know what that evidence is, but I think we should have faith in her. After all, even if she may not look like it, she's still the great thief beyond a grasso. Somehow it seems that Mr. Shields understands. Judge Courtney. We've already determined the general location of that evidence. It's only a matter of time before she steals the evidence back. <laughs> Aww. I understand. Then I shall give you special permission to testify. Thank you, Your Honor. This is ridiculous! Shut up! This vital evidence that you have found, please present it to the court. Blaze the Bess and Patricia Roland are somehow connected. Allow me to present the evidence that proves it. Uh, oh yeah, what was the connection between the two? La la la, la la. Oh, the report on Nightly. Yeah, because it even says right there. <laughs> connection with Patricia Roland and Blaze the Best. Blaze the Best. It's like, that's easy! Ta this document contains a detailed report regarding the interrogation of a certain man. A certain man? That man being the late Horace Knight. And the one who interrogated him was the defendant on the, in this trial, which is Roland. So that means that was the interrogation where... That's right. Patricia Roland murdered Knightley in the aftermath of the interrogation. And that very interrogation has been recorded in this written report. That definitely sounds like vital evidence. Miles Edgeworth, just now, you referred to that document as a written report. Now, just who in the world was that report written for? I thought you might ask that, Francisco. And that's precisely what is most important about this report. We found this document inside the safe of the storeroom on the 51st floor of the Grand Tower. The 51st floor? The storeroom for the black market auction? Indeed, and the conductor was of the auction was you, Blaze, the best. Mm. You received a report about the victim from Warden Rowland. In the face of this evidence, can you still say you have no connection to this case? In regards to that, I refuse to answer. What? 
It's yet to be proven in court that I was the conductor of the black market auction. Oh, have you already forgotten the events of this morning? Oh, I believe I had already proved it back then, did I not? I will not deny that I was bested by you. How ha! Ha -ha! However, that was at the crime scene. Who knows if the results will be the same in court. An acquittal is still possible, you see. Until it's been proven in court that I am a conductor of the black market auctions. You can't prove that document was addressed to me. Your logic is twisted. That's not very nice, you know. My logic isn't twisted, is it, Courtney? Don't you feel the same way? It was quite unlike you to allow former Prosecutor Edgeworth's statements just now, you know. It saddens me, you see, that you would fail to uphold the law as a judge should. In fact, I'm so upset by this, I may have no other choice but to use my last resort, you know. It is as you say. Something that has not been proven in court does not merit any deliberation. I will have to overrule Mr. Edgeworth's claim. Oh, as I thought. Until John has been rescued. You see? The truth of the scene and the truth in a courtroom are two very different things. So you're saying the truth can be distorted in court as long as it, it's for your sake. What a horrible thing to say. I'm not distorting the truth or anything like that, you know. If a not guilty verdict is handed down, then that means the truth. That's all it is, you see. It's useless. There's nothing we can do unless the missing evidence turns up. Now then, Courtney, why don't you deliver a not guilty verdict and let's get this over with? After all, that evidence isn't gonna show up anytime soon, you know. Objection! Is that Sebastian? Sure sound like him. Who, who raised an objection just now? <gasps> Sebby! Pops! Sebastian. <laughs> Why did you come back here now of all times? Sebastian, what is the meaning of this? Just where were you and what have you been doing since you abandoned your own trial? Could you please hold on again? Yep. the purpose of coming in here and saying God knows what. I don't know what time that was at. Hold on. <sighs> Alright. Sorry, what, what, what were we, what did you just say? That was Francisco's thing? Yeah, and now it's the best. He's like, I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry! I was... Um... Such an act is unbecoming of a prosecutor. You should be ashamed. I... Um... <coughs> well... Sebastian, you still don't get it, do you? You know, this court has no place for a sniveling child such as yourself. Bobs! I... I... Aw. Huh. <sighs> I've come to present new evidence, Your Honor! Aww! So, so uh, please! Let me take my place back at the prosecutor's bench! Sebastian, I didn't think he would come back. I love that new Spider-Man man, just like standing up, like I, I do yeah. this! He, he opened the little, uh, his little conductor thing like Courtney does with the gavel. Mm -hmm. I was like, eee! <laughs> What's all this uh, now, Sebastian? Sorry, I was stretching. No, you're fine. You don't seem at all like your normal self. 
Damn straight. Uh, Pops! Mm -hmm. Come now. What's the matter? You want Daddy to play with you? Is that it? Well, then why don't we just head out back home? Return to the witness stand! What's wrong? You're shaking like a leaf. Your Honor, the prosecutor officially is in charge of the case and has just arrived with new evidence. The trial is still in session. In light of this, shouldn't we continue with the proceedings? <laughs> Come on, Ray. Naturally, the defense has no objections, Your Honor. I'm sure the defense is already <laughs> originally in charge and say the same. The prosecution has no objections either, Your Honor. Continue the proceedings. That won't be necessary. Isn't that right, Courtney? They still believes he thinks... Oh, still believes that he was the one who kidnapped John. As long as John still hasn't been found, Judge Courtney will remain bound by Blaze, and nothing else will change that. <laughs> oh, poor Courtney. <laughs> the, the sound is. Uh, I'll I'll do that one. Uh, Thank you. A cell phone. Hmm. My phone as well. Eh? Well, the three phones also. That was so great. My phone went off too right now. <laughs> but cool! Interactive! Yay! Uh, Mr. Edgeworth! Mr. Shield! Hey! <gasps> Yay! Hey, you know, Gumshoe looks really good without his, uh, his, uh, trench coat looking. Green coat. Yeah, I'm like, okay, the little buff man. Oh my, Gumshoe looks really attractive. <laughs> Gumshoe, what's up? I gotta clean up well. <laughs> <laughs> Well, his phone is odd looking. I'll give him that. What the hell is that? It's like a razor. He does, and. It... Never mind. We found John, <laughs> sir! It looks. It looks. Never mind. Phallic! Alright, it looks phallic. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say that, but I was just gonna say, like, the phone, his hands look huge. Let's continue this before I make it. Anyway, we rescued John! Yeah! Excellent work, Detective! That kid was the most important piece of evidence, right? Way to go, Kay! <laughs> I wanted to spread the word quickly, so I had everyone call! Oh, John was calling Courtney. His mom. Uh, I, I, oh, I missed okay. him on his phone. Judge Courtney, it's for you. Yes, I see. I'm... I'm so glad you're safe. Make sure you properly thank everyone, okay? Mama! Be... <laughs> be careful. And come home safe. Oh, that made me tear up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> she's being motherly. And now she's not gonna hold back. Yeah. Let us resume the proceedings. Now that I may once again swing my gavel to my heart's content. Ha! <laughs> You're kidding, right? This is just a sad joke, you know. Witness, this is no joke. Please return to the stand. Prosecutor DeVest as well. Promptly return to your seat at the prosecutor's bench. Uh, yes, Your Honor! Got me standing at point. <laughs> well, you... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with oh, this episode. See you later. Oh, come on. Bye. Sorry. Bye. I'm sorry. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sebastian DeBest. Yes, Miss Von Karma? I leave the rest to you. Huh? Going up against your own father, it won't be easy. 
I shall observe how things pan out. From the gallery. Bye, Francesca. I like you. Oh. Now then, allow me to ask once more. Is the prosecution ready? Prosecutor to best. What is the new evidence you wish to present? The missing knife and chisel, your honor. Oh, you mean you they're finally been found? Where's his gallery? That, you know, that's coming out of my ass. That's where that's coming out from. There was nobody there. <laughs> the CGI in the in the, in the animes was better than that. <laughs> Prosecutor de best, is this true? The knife and chisel. I wasn't able to find them. I searched and searched, I really did, but it was already too late. Too late? What do you mean? I remembered this morning when I passed by Pops in the, uh, ga uh, gar uh, the garage at home. I was gonna say in the British way. He was holding something wrapped in a newspaper. Pops, where are you going? Ah, oh, Sebastian. Just taking out some trash. Did you hear that? Yeah, the little tingling. At the moment, I heard it. The faint sound of a bell. Could that sound have been, by any chance, the bell attached to Dogen's chisel? In other words, you're saying that the witness threw away the evidence? I searched for it, but I didn't make it in time. I'm sorry. Where exactly did you search for it? The garbage dump. Oh, that's where he went to run to. Oh, buddy, Aww. you smell like crap, look probably. At him. That's, I know, I'm sorry. That's oh. That's look at the tears coming down. He wants to prove himself. Okay, I really like Sebastian now. I went to the garbage dump and searched everywhere! I thought the evidence pops were away had to be there! Oh, is this why he ran oh. away? Oh! <laughs> so at that time, he had gone to the garbage dump. But... But... This was all I could find! This is... Oh, it smells rather peculiar. So I farted on it! <laughs> now that you mention it, there's kind of a funky smell coming from you as well. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, Ray. <laughs> what do you expect? I was digging through garbage! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, he's right. He's like, yeah, duh. And usually he would say something kind of stupid, <laughs> but he's like, Yes, of course I do, you idiot. You smell like flowers and perfume. <laughs> and what What of the knife? I think it's buried somewhere in that giant mound of trash. But <laughs> the music is not helping. I'm sorry. It's like, no, it's I'm trying not. to take this seriously. <laughs> but I couldn't find it by myself. I understand. I shall accept this into evidence. What is that, rock? I guess. Ha <laughs> ha! Well done, Sebastian. You never betray my expectations, you know. You search so desperately through the garbage and that's all you have to show for it? <laughs> Don't let him get to you. Oh, what a tearjerker. I'm tearing up already. Objection. It's a bit too early for tears, don't you think? We haven't examined the evidence properly yet. I think it's just a pointless waste of time, you know. I'm counting on you, Sebastian. Miles, show him that the truth can be exposed in court and take him down. Mr. Shields is backing me up. Us up. Now all we need is a breakthrough. Prosecutor, the best. Let's take a closer look at the evidence. Uh, right. Okay, so it's a, it's a rock. It's, okay, uh. <laughs> that's uh, a nice. Examine. That's a boulder. That's a nice looking boulder. That's a nice boulder. <laughs> I like that boulder. 
That's a nice boulder. Please tell me you say that line in the show. No, I no, don't. No, come on. Yeah, because we don't go back to a swamp like that. Oh. I get, did we just examine it, like, period? Or something? I did. Oh. Yeah, I just examined oh. it. Well, let's have a look inside. It would be great if we could find some proof of... Find some kind of proof. Oh, it's not a rock! Oh, it's a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like... It was so small. Then, right, I was like, hey, you found a pebble. Good but job! <laughs> it, this is... The bell that was attached to Dogen's chisel. Are there any traces left behind on it? And it's so good! There's not even a single smudge on it! Well, that's good if you're able to find the chisel. I mean, the bell, right? The bell? Yeah, that's really good. What did you find, Prosecutor DeBest? Did you find anything? <laughs> Darn it! Of course you'd find nothing. Something like that can't be called evidence, you know. All it is is trash. It may be sad, but that's the truth, you see. Well, Sebastian's efforts all for naught? Indeed, this bell does not seem to be a valid evidence. However... Mr. Edgeworth, are you really giving up? Calm as always, Edgeworth. Quite unlike Sebastian there, here. Well then, is the prosecution finished with its argument? Justine, not yet. We're not through yet. There's still something we haven't examined. You're still not giving up? Struggling in vain's not cute at all, you know. It seems Sebastian hasn't given up yet either. I was just thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> the last item remaining. Is it trash or is it evidence? If we don't examine it, we'll, find no we'll never find out. The item I'm thinking of is... Uh, we're about to hit a to be continue part, aren't we? Kinda. I'm just not sure how long it's gonna take, but we're close. Okay. Um, let's see. What should we examine? I kind of want to examine the bell itself, because I feel like there's like maybe a secret compartment in there or something. Well, it's up to you. I mean, well, we can we can remove the knife because we don't even have that, right? We don't have it. So we yeah. have the bell and newspaper. So. So if you have to the newspaper, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Maybe there's something on it. That's it. <gasps> okay, I think I know why. Okay, but I'm gonna say the newspaper. Okay. We're still not done examining the newspaper that the bell's wrapped in. It seems that Sebastian has the same idea as I do. Wow, this is just wonderful, you know. But so wonderful, it's to cry for. Is it desperation? Or simply reckless and abandon? Are you really going to pin all your hopes on a worthless scrap of newspaper? Yes. <laughs> we won't know for sure whether or not it's worthless until we examine it, will we? Sebastian! Let's examine this po post haste. Post haste. Uh, okay. Zoom. I'm gonna. F oh, wait a minute. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Ah ha ha ha! Yeah, mother sucker. Is that the first like, thing you were thinking up to? Yes. I'm like, I was thinking, I was like, wait a minute. We had these little weird looking glovey thingies. So, I guess examine the T or the. Print, whatever. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I guess we can just examine. Is Any finger? Yeah. Is this a handprint? <laughs> There's something greasy on here, too. Is it oil? Judge Courtney, we'd like to request a fingerprint analysis on, on this paper. Could you please summon someone from forensics? Your request is accepted. Contact the lab at once. 30 minutes later. Reporting! These are definitely fingerprints! <laughs> However, it's from a glove! What? I mean... 
I would have thought it would have been obvious. We can't yet. But still. We can't. Didn't I tell you? It's nothing but a worthless scrap of paper. Like your face. Oh. Just think about it, you know. When handling important evidence. What kind of idiot wouldn't use gloves? Oh, wait. Wouldn't that be you? The idiot who doesn't know when to give up? That's pretty harsh, talking to your son like that. Oh, what's wrong with calling an idiot an idiot? If you want to be the best, you'll have to be heartless. Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> ah. Ah. I have no compassion for worthless individuals, not even my own son. What? I... No. You've always called yourself a genius prosecutor, haven't you? Didn't I explain to you this morning why you are a genius up until now? That's right. It was all because of me. Because of my authority. You were always being protected by people like Courtney. And me. <laughs> now, get that stinking face out of yours out of my sight. Stinking? You know, now that I think about it, you know, that stench might just suit you perfectly. Just keep it away from my nose, or my eyes will start watering. Objection! Wrong! You're wrong, Pops! Sebastian? What are you talking about? You're the one who stinks, Pops! <laughs> it's you, not me! What? You haven't noticed, have you? You smell, Pops. So much that you can't even hide it. But, Mr. Edgeworth, try smelling the handprint on a newspaper. The smell? Hmm. It smells like oil. I know something that smells just like it. I'm gonna think of this. Back then, it smells like motor oil. Yeah, it was his hobby. Oh, yeah. That's right. The smell proves it. It proves that the culprit who hid the evidence was... It's no good. <laughs> I guess I can't become the best after all. I'm too soft. I could never be so heart... Excuse me, so heartless. Oh, Benji. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian. Oh, I didn't know my dog uh, had that much influence. <laughs> I had no idea where that came from. That's Sorry. Fine. I just can't bring down my father, my own aunts. Foster the best. Summon your courage. Become a different prosecutor than from uh, from your father. Wasn't that what you decided? We are prosecutors, and as prosecutors, we stand in the courtroom. In that case, isn't it our duty to shed light on the truth? Hmm. Exposing crimes and bringing criminals to justice, even if the criminal is your own father. That is your duty, as a prosecutor. Didn't I promise you that if you have the courage to stand up, I will show you the way. I'll show you the way. And if you cannot do it alone, then we shall do it together. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, crap. My... <laughs> of course. <laughs> it falls on me. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I thought they were doing a drum roll. I'm like, okay, I was like, this is different. <laughs> I was like, oh no, the game froze. Allow me to present the evidence that connects his handprint with my father. The mechanics gloves normally used for bike maintenance heavily stained with dirt. Present. <laughs> nice. Thank you. This is the smell of motor oil, the kind used but for maintaining motorcycles. Both myself and Mr. Edgeworth have smelled this exact same smell before! Blaze the best! 
It was in your garage. And wouldn't you say these fingerprints have a rather peculiar shape? The five letters are spelled out D-E-A-T-H. Let's make sure I spelled that right. It's exactly the same as your own <laughs> <blood. laughs> It's on the screen! I know, but it's like, oh crap, look at it. <laughs> I thought I put another letter in there. <laughs> Oh my god, bring back memories. Is you a vow? <laughs> what? I was- no, come on, I was under pressure. I was gonna- we're gonna blow up. <laughs> and- and oh then I- god. and then I corrected myself like two seconds later, so... No, you didn't. <laughs> okay. You wanna play that game, alright. Is you a vow? God, is you a vow? Okay, you know- No, no it is. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. You can buy gloves like that from anywhere. It doesn't prove a thing. Is that really the case? Objection. That's not the only thing that these two pieces of evidence have in common. The fingerprints on the newspaper. The news. That's Edgeworth. The fingerprints on a newspaper that was used <laughs> to wrap up the bell. <laughs> and Blades' mechanics yeah, yeah. gloves. This is the unmistakable similarity that both share. Uh... The letters? Didn't we already point that out, though? Look closely at, at the letters. Uh... This is the unmistakable similarity they share. Isn't, like, the A, like, kind of scratched off? That definitely looks very similar. Yeah. So then- Oh, God! There you go. Sorry. I almost presented something oh. else. If you examine the imprint left by the letter A, A, you <laughs> A, <laughs> you'll see it un unmistakably from this glove. What? Dang it! Burn his other wig. And that's not all. There's one more item that we that we must take note of, namely these dirt stains. I. I suggest we do a, comp a comparative analysis of the dust stains in the newspaper and the glove. If the contents match up, then it will prove to be decisive evidence. Bailiff, please have these se dirt samples sent to forensics for analysis immediately. Uh, Edgeworth, Sebastian! I can't yell too much. You lonely prosecutors! Do you have any idea who I am? I hate when, I hate yes. when people use that damn phrase. Do you know who that I am? kind of happened at work. <laughs> oh, and that's like, I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh, yeah. Do your job like I'm doing mine, and we'll call the day. Pops, you can't run away anymore. It's been proven in court that you conceal the evidence, and that you try to cover for the defendant. You're saying that I'm guilty? And I'll be sent to prison? Me? Blaze the best? Why'd I do that type of motion? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Stop, <sighs> damn it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on. He's shaking the, the light. Okay, in. sure as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Read the name I'm sorry. text. A couple of snot-nosed punks are gonna make me disappear? There might be- that must be some mistake! Objection. Be a man and admit your crimes! Objection. Do you really think you can survive if I'm not, if I'm not around? Oh. I... I'll be fine now! I All thought right. I wanted to become a, the best prosecutor so I could get your approval, Pops! But, when I was kidnapped by your men, and stuck in that dark room, I started thinking. I am truly powerless. I despaired, and averted my eyes from the truth. But... At that moment, Mr. Edgeworth stepped in and showed me the way. And now, I'm no longer just a child chasing after his father's approval. I've become capable! I can find evidence all on my own! My man kidnapped you! Why were you? Objection. 
Pops. I'll show you the truth you never knew. Through this trial. Sebastian, how dare you speak to me like that? You should have just stated it as an idiot son. You may have hated me to the very end, Pops. But I... I've always looked up to you. No more tears, Sebastian. Thank you for everything up until now. And goodbye. You. Since when did you... All you've ever been able to do is disappoint me. Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> My... Oh, his thing didn't burn oh. up. Maybe he's burning in hell. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's, that's a little <laughs> far, but it's fine. Uh, that's fine. He, he, you know, he's a, he's uh, a butthole. Yeah. It has been established that the evidence was concealed by Blaze DeVest himself. A judgment regarding his concealment of evidence shall be delivered at a separate trial. The missing chisel and knife still have yet to be found. <laughs> However, once a search of the waste disposal site is underway, they will surely be discovered. Oh, the knife will be found. What will happen to me if it's found? Huh. Oh, no need to worry. You'll simply receive the punishment you deserve for your crime. Your punishment? For me? Please, what in the world are you doing? You! You! After all, you're boasting about being able to create your own truths and not guilty verdicts. That's why I contacted you immediately after the prison incident in the first place! And to make matters worse, you even kidnapped the wrong kid! I just can't believe this! You really, really, really are completely useless! Well, that was certainly a violent outburst. But you heard her, prosecutor the best. Yeah, she got flustered and said a bunch of important stuff. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know, he's getting there, you know. Yeah, I mean, he's at least he understands. Right, he, he got That's the context. Good. Indeed. That's correct. He still doesn't seem very sure of himself. <laughs> very well. And with that, this court is adjourned. Yay! Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? I need to end it's the episode. Long. Huh? Who are you? Oh my god, hey, Lang! Not now, please, this video is very long. It's super long. Judge Courtney, it's still too early for a happy ending. Lang Z says, the end of the trial is not always the end of the case. Yeah, we know that. And who might you be? Oh yeah. I'm your next baby daddy. <laughs> you know you want it. <laughs> the name's Shilong Lang. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, never mind. I was gonna say something. <laughs> uh huh. You got it. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kind of wish I said it now. Never mind. No. I'm just a home but lone investigator. Do you have some objection with the trial? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. The defendant there has a heart of as black as a moonless night. Lang, don't tell me you're the one from 12 years ago. I got it. And ain't this nice? Now you're finally going to prison, where you belong. 12 years ago is a long time coming for suspended sentence. Don't you agree? Agent Lang, what are you talking about? The SS5 incident from 12 years ago. It's a case I'll never forget. 12 years ago? There's another case? not do this now? Yeah. Well, that's changed. It all happened over 12 years ago. Oh, yeah, he, he did, did mention that. That was like him his, him his, a month Yeah, ago. him and his father are good friends, and something happened. And, like, was it his father became, like, outcaster or something because of that case? Yeah. He doesn't even have a shred of faith in the police force. Uh huh. Yeah. Might have something to do with Meg's father, President Huey. Patricia Rowland, and you blazed the best. Back then, the two of you killed off the Lang Clan. <laughs> Were you involved in the incident 12 years ago? That's right, I was. However, 
I'm not here to chase after ghosts of the past. I'm here for you, Justin Courtney. Uh, what? Um, m me? You, and one other. <gasps> ah! Hmm. John! Miss Courtney, you're coming along too. As the suspect who murdered the president of Zhang Fa, Dijon Wong. Objection! Oh my Agent God. Lang, what evidence do you. Not so fast. Settle down, Mr. Prosecutor. The investigation has only just begun. We're going to inspect the crime scene with the suspects in attendance. Agent Lang. Did he get his pass on some new piece of evidence? If you have any objections, then you can tag along as well. I shall do just that. The end of the trial is not always the end of the case. There are still many mysteries yet unsolved surrounding the murder of the President. Namely, the true nature of the giant monster and... <laughs> the muffled guy. voice. You, it's funny, I'm like, I feel like there's more characters that's gonna be introduced that we'll probably figure out. It'll probably be one of them. Maybe. The true identity of the person on the, on the other end of the phone. Oh, thank, thank you, God. Lord. <laughs> oh. So many. So. So many interruptions and things happening. This video is like an hour. Yeah, so you're welcome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's a lot to unpack. There's another new case from 12 years ago that's probably going to get brought up again. And then the IS-7 incident with the fa with uh, Edgeworth's father. <sighs> and then you got to figure out who's pulling the strings. So there's a lot of mysteries we got to solve. A lot of things going on, but we're he we're getting there. That's what's nice is, like... Each day, each, each recording that we do, little by little, we're getting there. Until that ding meter is just going to go off like crazy. Yep. Oh, was there a ding in this uh, episode? I don't maybe. think so. Maybe. Possibly. We'll see. Oh. Huh. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody.